At panic overnight in the streets of Washington, D.C., at a Juneteenth festival when gunfire erupted. And this morning, the suspect is still at large. Mary Alice Parks has the latest from D.C. Good morning, Mary Alice. Michael, good morning. It was one of those summer nights where everyone was out and about trying to enjoy the weather. And then all of a sudden, police rushing in from every direction to this area that was just packed with people. Overnight chaos and panic in the streets of D.C. after gunfire erupted at a packed Juneteenth concert and festival. Police say the unauthorized event was being shut down after a series of fights and issues with the massive crowd. Uh -oh. No, that is straight up gunshots. And then around 8.30 p.m., a gunman opening fire, killing a teenager police say was 15 years old and injuring three others, including a D.C. police officer. With uh, guns involved and with our police managing a crowd on site, somebody used a gun and a child is dead. Witnesses recording as medics and police rush to aid the wounded and terrified concert goers flee for safety. Other people injured as a result of their legs and ankles being trampled while trying to leave the area. <laughs> Officials say multiple guns were recovered in the aftermath, but the weapon used by the suspect is nowhere to be found this morning. Uh, all it takes is one person introducing a gun to the situation that makes it deadly. In this case, we need to make sure that individuals are held accountable for their actions. Now, D.C. confirming to us that the teenager who died was just 15 years old. The police officer was shot in the leg. He's in stable condition, as are the other two victims. Robin. So tragic. Mary Alice, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.